Welcome back to Let's Play. Igreshi, Tatare Goroshi. It's like always with our intro. It's like headache, man. Oh, you seem to have a headache, really. Anyways, it's, uh, let's get to the point already. Where the day shall be? Actually, that, that would be a good one. I wonder if it's in here. Uh. Yep, it is. To have a headache. Jutsu Kasuru. Yeah, I always see that at the end of sentences. Or examples or whatever in this here dictionary is Suru. I suppose it has relevance. It's kind of like I also had an observation with the Igarashi series. Notice that every single arc ends with she, like Onikaku she, Watanaga she, Tatari Goro she, and uh, I forget the name of the fourth one, but you get the idea. They all end in she, so I imagine that must stand for like chapter or arc or something like that. What? I'm not sure. Anyways, get on with it. Because I have like only recorded the one part, which I could have split into two parts, but it wouldn't have really make sense, really. I was like thinking maybe I could have like split it off into two and have it continued on here, but I uploaded it, so... Whatever. Quite a long recording, but it wasn't long enough to have multiple parts, so I'm recording like two days or so after. It's weird, because I used to like sometimes be in a whole week in between recordings, so it's because like I had to have like three parts recorded. And now with like Pokemon X to Gale Darkness and Wind Waker on my main channel, with Pokemon catching up record wise, and Wind Waker being kind of like recorded at my own pace. It's more kind of like, I don't know, it's not like I'm recording often, like all the time or anything, but it's becoming more increased. It's kind of weird, really, because I think back in the day, like say, a year or two ago, I'd be recording a lot more often. Nowadays, I've kind of like relaxed the schedule a bit, so that I don't have to record nearly as much. But anyways. Right, right, does anyone have plans for this afternoon? You don't, do you? Do you? Again, with the voices taking a while to get you through, at the start of a recording today was Saturday. No, that's tomorrow, actually, KHC. As a recording, anyway. It's Friday. It's a beautiful day on which we liberated from the confines of school in the afternoon. Actually, the school in Indies Hour had slightly different Saturdays than those in the city. A lot of students here who brought a venting agent at lunch and then went to play in school or around the schoolyard. You could say that the entire school turned into a children's playground. There were mountains behind the school and if you went down that way you'd find mountain streams. You could avoid the strong sunlight and make conversation in the classroom if you wanted to. You could also play hide and seek in the construction pipes. Safety? Do you not have it there? Of course you were afraid to go home as well. There were some kids who went home and helped water the fields or headed to stores and birds chirp in the background. If Milan was bringing up the afternoon like this, then it must have been for some crazy big club event. However, sadly I had something I needed to do before taking part in whatever it was. You have work. That's some lucky. <laughs> that voice I gave her. That's not the Rika voice. Not quite. Again, it takes a while. You gotta warm up your voice for this shit. I wonder what kind of work it is. Maybe helping his fall with his artwork job. Hmm. Or being a model for his father's art. A model? A new one? Oh! <laughs> the hell, right? What the hell, man? 
You know, speaking of Rena, I've like finally got around to playing Pokemon Sun. I've been putting it on over for a long time. It's like in my Pokemon next to Gil Doctor's LP, it's like, you viewers, you decide what I'll name the female protagonist for Pokemon Sun to play for it. Not for LP, it, but just play for it. And nobody gave an answer, and eventually I thought to myself, you know, the idea of naming the protagonist blah, 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 after Rena here would be perfect. Because, just picture it, if she were a Pokemon trainer, she would catch every Pokemon she sees and be like, Oh, I gotta take you home with me! So it fits, you know, but I haven't really played too much of it because it's kind of slow intro and I can't be asked all that much. I looked into Rinny's eyes and saw myself completely naked in a questionable pose of a single rose in my mouth. Oh no, I wouldn't do that for a million yen. To get rid of Rena's delusions, I grabbed her head and swung it from side to side. Oh, stop. Uh, sorry. Well, uh, leaving your uh, fanciful delusions aside, I have something to do real quick there at lunch. I'm okay to meet up with you after I've done that. Work during lunch? I see. That sounds kind of cool, actually. What could it be? Are oh, you having a banquet with VIP experts? Like a business lunch? Uh, this is truly sad, but you're right. What? Everyone shouts wildly surprised. What indeed? <laughs> Just like that was the quickest run home there ever. It was true. Today I'd be on a job with my family. For my dad's job, he was having about ten people from the publishing agency over for a house party. He called people from work for a party the day after uh, after uh, after having stayed up two nights in a row. I'm amazed there, like acting my talent. I'd also have it pretty rough. Of course, it would be incredibly uncomfortable to me. It would be really tiring to have to force myself to smile at so old moments I don't know. Didn't know. Oh man, that'd be awful, especially for someone like me. I don't smile much, you know, especially not like, you know, fake smile, you know, like how people are able to do that. I mentioned this not too long ago, didn't I? It's like I'm just not very good at that. Like if someone asked me, it's like smile. I'd just be like, no, I don't smile on command. But they were my dad's important business connection, so offending them would be bad. So you know, if I was in that position, it wouldn't go down well. But it, it would be bad. It's just like, okay, your kid is all like, just looks like pissed off all the time because he never smiles. Well, with all that said, it was going to get very uncomfortable for me today, starting at lunch. Well, well, what an intelligent child. Uh, this is my son, Keiichi. Keiichi, this is... son, from... Uh, and this person here is blah, son, the blah, manager. Say your alerts. Why couldn't they print names? And locations and shit. Hello, my name is Keiichi. I appreciate all you've done for my father. Genshikun, do you draw pictures like your father does? I would very much like to see them. My dad had such a brazen occupation that I of an artist. Although I don't really know what kinds of things he creates. I don't really care and don't want to see anyway. <laughs> to fiction now. Here's the plot twist, right? He's like... Draws hentai or some shit. It's <laughs> just like... Dad, I didn't know that was your business practice! What the hell? I thought you was like drawing freaking landscapes or portraits or some shit. I don't really care and don't want to see it anyway. Dad's so tight fisted about it, so he doesn't show them to me very often anyway. Maybe that's why! Who knows? I'm not a kid anymore, so I wouldn't care at all if they were pictures of naked ladies or anything. Maybe they are. Maybe not in that style, but maybe they are, who knows? Maybe that's why. Maybe if it's just landscapes, then, like, why isn't he allowed to see them? 
If you study under your father as an apprentice, you'd be able to become a great artist like him too. Uh, excuse me, this is just between you and me. My dad, is he really that great of an artist? I readied myself and whispered my question. It might have seemed odd for his son to be asking this, but... When I did, he gave me this real strange grin and tightly clamped down onto my shoulders. Yes! He is truly, truly a fantastic artist! Is that so? I'm glad to hear it. There are no purchase restrictions. He does fan service, and he always answers the letters he gets. Oh my god, was I right on the money after all? He has an inquisitive mind, always on the prowl for what the world needs. Taking off your socks? Absolutely not. And that goes for glasses and school uniforms, too. My bar since age understands these things perfectly. Every event sees him along the wall with a huge lineup. He, he totally is, isn't he? He totally is. Uh, I'm sorry, but his pictures, they're not ones you hang on the wall. Not at all. In the beginning, everyone starts in the islands. And then to their quarters. And finally climbing up to the corners of the larger parts. The final destination is the famous wall! You too! Please become a great artist who can display his works in unison with my bar sensei! I'll cheer you on! It is fine, I have a lot of passion for the things you like, but... Now I'm even more confused. <laughs> I didn't get it, but it seemed that the world of art ran pretty deep. Come to think about it... Well, technically it was still going to be fun. That's like ALP before going on to this one, but the real lengthy one was kind of a show, wasn't it? Remember the art teacher guy? What is it with art characters? They're just completely out of their minds. It's just like Bob Ross says. It's like, you're a painter, people expect you to be a little crazy anyway. It's just like, it comes with a profession, that, you know? If you're an artist, you gotta be a bit, you know, crazy on like the wild side. A bit overly passionate. I didn't get anybody to see that about it. It was probably a much deeper world than I could have imagined. I decided to leave it at that. Then I realized my mum was calling me from the old side of the room. Keiichi, it's the phone. It's a friend of yours. A lucky break. Maybe I could get out of this uncomfortable business party by using a friend's phone call as an excuse. I skipped over to the front door and snatched up the receiver my mum had left there. Hello, it's me. Wait. Wait. Who's me? Hello, me? That's not how you answer the f- Ah. Oh. Wait. No, this is whoever is on the other line. I think it's probably Satoko. Hello, me. That's not how you answer the phone kicks, Dan. Employee, you learn how to choose your words more properly. I was of the opinion that the person speaking to me had a far stranger way of talking. Oh, it's Toko. It's unusual for you to call my house. It's kind of neat, like, after a while you start to kind of see patterns in the way they speak, so you can identify what character's talking sometimes. Although, it also helps that this is Satoko's arc, technically. It's got to be more focused on her character, so, you know, the fact that it'd be her rather than someone else makes sense. But it could have been me on, but no, it's a token. This isn't the type of pleasantries. Gage Stan, where are you going to be able to go? Uh, when are you going to be able to go? Uh, sorry, looks like this is going a bit long. I can't get them to let me go. I want to go do things with a club now, but... That's not it, Gage Stan. It wasn't about the club today. It's a real battle. Doctor's voice was different from normal. I could feel the urgency in it drifting through the phone. A real battle? Oh, oh, I remember now. That doesn't sound good. What's the situation? I'll explain it particularly when we meet. Anyways, this is a terrible crisis. At this rate, we're gonna lose. What on earth is going on? Could it have been a fight? I didn't know who they were, but laying a hand on someone for millions of hours is absolutely terrible idea. Right, got it. I'll come and reinforce you right away. Where are you at? We're on the Okamia Elementary School campus. There are signs at the station, so you should be able to figure it out. Anyway, we're in a big hurry. The school campus. 
The situation could have a lot of people involved. Could it have turned into an all out brawl? Who was the enemy here anyway? Oh, I'm on fire! Well, he certainly was when he cooked, isn't it? Got it. I'll be there soon. Should I bring a weapon with me? Like a metal baseball bat or something? You have a metal bat? That would be fantastic. We will wait for you here. The call cut off abruptly. How is he got a freaking bat anyway? Ribbon on Katushi? I mean, he had a bat there, but it was, you know, not, it wasn't his. So now he's suddenly got a bat? Or did he have a bat all along and didn't think of his own? Or I don't know. The call cut off abruptly. I need to be hurry. Okay, I was looking for you. Blah, son, here from Blah I was looking for a photocopy. Now's not the time. Don't we have a bat? A metal bat. If not, then anything we lose will do. Long will do. Anything long will do, then my golf clubs are in the storage room. They didn't have the same kind of impact for a golf club it was as splendid like you do. It was whiter than a baseball bat and maybe easier for me to use. Thanks, I'm borrowing one. I really need to go see my friend or something. It's urgent. Sorry. What? Keiichi? Wait a minute. I grabbed the golf club, jumped on my bike, and headed straight to town. Wait for me, Satoko. I'll be right there. Just hold out until then. Dramatic. I didn't actually know where to be. I was actually lost, actually. It's another small place into the land agency. So I rushed out without asking her about having it there. If I went to the station, there would be signs. At least I feel like that's what they said. Then I heard the jingling of the bicycle bell from behind me. No way. Hey! Look at you! Huh! Huh! Hey, Chia, quickly. You put the pedal to the metal. Damn! This isn't a time to be out of breath. I need to hurry! Sorry! Oh, I was talking to me, I'll Elementary. I'll show you the way. Come along with me. Bring a chain laid up on your bag. I'll call you. So, Togo suddenly called me out here. What on earth is going on anyway? At first, we had the advantage. However, they called in a helper. It's bad manners. So, they called in their own, I guess. A helper? What cowards calling for reinforcements in minutes and realize they'd lose? Ha! Hypocrite. You're a damn hypocrite, Kate. Because that's what you've been called in for. Breaking reinforcements. They're picking everyone out one by one. They can't put a tent in them. Sounds like they were pretty strong. Anyway, I'll ask about it later. We don't have time, right? Please, hurry. Leave it to me. With Rika-chan leading the way, we headed straight for the elementary school grounds. You know, I always noticed... Uh, actually, now that's Hiragana, I think. But you got Katakana characters here. Katakana characters seem noticeably more common than Hiragana, honestly. Probably because Hiragana characters can be, like, formed to make words rather than using Kanji characters, or I don't think the same can be said for Katakana characters. Kinda weird. Ask me the chance of doing that time. It seemed that all the club members besides me were part of this fight. Damn, so what Leon was trying to tell everyone was this would happen. If I had known that, I would have just ditched my family job. But it was too late for regrets. Going to wake a we had a funny side of the event at the start. But our angry foes had broken a powerful ally. The club members put up a resistance and went against them one by one. Where apparently they couldn't stand up to them. Combined efforts on the whole club couldn't win. Just, just what kind of monster is this guy? It's amazing. This enemy is a polkadot. Polkadot. So they weren't using fully for brawling tactics, but they actually studied karate or something. Is that what she meant? The future is all that ray of hope now. Ultimate elementary came into view. I could hear many voices raising hell over there. Whoa! Rena, Sudoku, I'll be there soon! I'll crush them all at once!
There were a lot of blood skulls left out in front of the school. I left them out there next to them in the same way. I could tell there were a lot of people flooding the campus. Were the two armies in the midst of a huge no holds barred brawl? Or is Keiichi gonna be missing the point entirely here? I took my golf club in hand. I swung it. I felt the sensation of it sticking firmly to my palm. Great! The feedback wasn't bad. I'm gonna go all out for this big. I dashed out of a brick next screen to the school wheel, swinging it around like a madman. Come with me, Rekka-chan! I will show you what the mighty man they wore a to my bar can really do! Wow, Richie is so reliable. He built a rampage in the golf club. <laughs> Rekka-chan pulled me through a uh, little dryly and loaded my uh, island. The man they came to my bar and put it behind him and headed for the place where he may die. But can you see, why did you bring your golf club today? I had no choice. At first, I figured a baseball bat would have been good, but we don't have one at my house. The golf club was far better than going barehanded, so I brought one. How very excellent. I will give you a pat on the head. I can't wait to see your golf club rampage. And you know how he's pointed out before? Well, actually, I think it was Satoko that pointed out. It's like, when Rika pats someone on the head half the time, it's because, like, they've completely failed at something. So, you know, the fact she's saying that means that Kate is completely comically missing the point. Despite the emergency situation, Rika Chan reached up and struck me on the head. Hey! This is no time for jokes! Huh? Just then, an extremely loud metallic sound rang out, and I heard many people cheering. Well, ah, oh, we missed. Run! You can get the second place. Go! Center! Calm down! Send it to third! The center fielder caught the ball, and after a brief pause, sent it flying to third base. If he had pitched it wildly, it might get there. He gave up on that second and third to third with time to spare. The instructions from the bench, they were solid. Wait, what? That's why, KT, when you mentioned getting a bat, it was like perfect. Because it was baseball! Ha 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 ha! Okay, come here. Sotoka chan, Sotoka chan, Kate comes here. But he brought a golf club. How's he gonna play baseball with that? You're late, late, late! Looping around is only okay when you do it at the bread shop. There he is! <laughs> Remember? Just like, when I briefly showed him that one time because it's like one of the card drops in the thing of this guy. It's kind of an important character to the whole thing really, but this is his first appearance. I can't remember how much of a role he plays in this one now. This my Mara could not get. Will he really save us? We're up against the ace of the way to kill the left arm of Captain Kamira Kun. He can be a question class pitcher, he must be on guard. I don't know what voice to give you yet, though. It's okay. I'm sure that Kate Kun can turn the table. It's weird, really. I've got more variety of voice acting female cast and male cast. How does that make any sense? Probably because I'm more used to it by this point. This is more female characters than male characters, so I don't really get to freaking, you know, experiment with different freaking voices for each character. That bitch took him the table. He's a really dependable person. Murmur, murmur, what? Use the pin here we brought in to take out. Left arm Camino with a good fastball. The one who had one hit no run game after an all generational qualifiers. The undefeated demon pitcher of Oshima. Oshima. You know, I always find it weird when you go like a word or a name with a capital O followed by, you know, unclassed O. It just looks weird, doesn't it? I mean, it looks like that kind of shop face, isn't it? Like, huh? The super high school level pitcher that has already been marked by a professional scout. He's going to win against him. 
Some greenhorn fisher like that is no match for Gig Stan. He'll send his crows all the way to the back screen for an easy victory. Murmur, murmur. That was a slug like that in this prefecture. I have no idea. He must have gone under the radar. Hey! Larson from Hansen stood up. Hey! Take a picture. Full name is Gage to my bar. Look him up in the database and send his history to our office. Our friend says over high skate to your <laughs> Which one is Gage to my bar? Pictures, pictures! A whole lot of sports journalists led by Circa gripped their cameras tightly and searched for the room at Gage to my bar. As for me, I was so dazed at what was happening that I was frozen in place with my golf club up in the air. What a ridiculous sight. Kinsan, Kinsan, over here! Eh? The camera people stared at me through their viewfinders, and just like I had, they turned to stone. In the hands of the gallant pinch hitter, Kinsan, my borrow was a golf club. Nobody could seem to understand why I was holding something like this. <laughs> Imagine explaining it. <laughs> Just like, I thought my friends were in a fight, so I brought a golf club to beat the shit out of people. That's why I got the golf club. But it turned out we were just losing our baseball game. So I was originally going to come here to beat the shit out of you. And now that I know you're playing baseball, uh, why don't you lend me a bat? And at this point, neither did I. Cheep, 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 a cold, greasy switch ripped from me. The first one to break the inordinately awkward silence was Rosa Renner. Um, it's good. Uh, yeah. May we ask you a question? Please, please don't. Psychic waves in my hands, they flowed out of my face along with my sweat. Somehow seems to reach the two of them. The deathly quiet reporters all parted as Moses once parted the sea. But Moses probably didn't go through the parted seas this quietly. If you were playing baseball, then tell me that from the start! What? Did I not say that? I mean, I told you to come to the campus with a baseball bat. What else could you afford it was? And what manner of thinking caused you to mistakenly bring a golf club here instead? Um, I think I can take two must have something on purpose to like novels and get a pump at me. I think. Red smiled bitly and covered Romy with all her might. Please believe her, everyone. It's not like you just like you stuck it for a big fight and brought a weapon and didn't realize I'm begging you! I think you love gold. Pet, pet. Richard Chen started flattening my head, a broad grin on her face all the while. I pushed her hand away, grabbed her from behind by her suspenders, and picked her up like a kitten. Richard <laughs> <laughs> Chen, why didn't you tell me it was a baseball game when we met at the station? I would have had to stop that suspicious train. Ricky Chan's smile was like the sun, so incredibly innocent. Uh, she's glowing. I don't see a glow. Imagine if they had that effect just for that. When I saw Ricky Chan's radiant smile, I couldn't help but feel like I could forgive anything she did. However, if Ricky Chan thought I actually would, then she had another thing coming. Anyway, this is your punishment, Renner. Rick and Chan still plucked up in my hand, I offered her the Renner. That's right. The kitten defied Rick and Chan sends Renner's voltage to the overcharge. Oh! I'll take her, I'll take her! Renner will take her! Oh! So cute! Oh! Spinny, spinny! Renner stuck out her tongue like a chameleon and played upon Rick and Chan while spinning her around. Ricky Chan's so cute! Ricky Chan's so cute! Oh! Meet me! <laughs> what the hell are you, freaking Roadrunner Ricky? Renna held her tight as her eyes and began to get her a little rubbing her cheek into Ricky Chan. Her cheeks were to go tightly, 
They could probably generate electricity. Where did you stand in space? It looked like it was being crushed by Rand. I don't know why it's happened, but it looks like Rika has gotten there just as dirt. Yeah, uh, Rika has got a Rika now is an only cute. Oh, I got the Ejikus permission. I'm going to take you home. Me, 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 Yes, that's correct. You said you had a house party with your family. I suppose I was wrong to ask, but at times of trouble like these, you always must prioritize friends over family. <laughs> well, depends on some people's views, really, isn't it? Like, what's more important, family or friends? You know, like, like a really close like, group of friends would be like a family in itself, really, wouldn't it? Depends how close they are to their own family and their friends, I guess. I don't know. I felt like that's what I was supposed to be saying, not you. Well, it was just a business party for my dad, I guess. The ones who don't like to be called out here. So, what's the crisis situation look like? Six or seven? Which means our team is moving, huh? Mm -hmm. From the bottom of the ninth? What the heck? This game is almost about to end. We would have had a little more time if we'd gotten here sooner. Do you have any idea how difficult it was for us to hold out for this long? Alright, alright, I'm sorry. Okay, so, what am I doing? Am I gonna be the pitch hitter or just leave it to me? I may not look like it, but I went to the batting game just a lot before I moved here. My dad went there for fun, and I used to go with him pretty often. I'm pretty confident about just hitting the bat with the ball, so I... Boom! A tremendous sound rang out the likes of which I'd never heard before. The catcher's mitt trembled, sending up a light cloud of dust, telling me the tremendous sound had come from the ball. Hey, wait a second. What's up with that crazy fastball, anyway? Surprise! Yeah! That's a bona fide cush, uh, cushion level pitch pitcher. Don't you know about left arm Kabitakun, the ace of Oishin? Sorry, I can't say I knew. Wait, Meon? What happened to you? Meon showed up and to my surprise, she was wrapped up in bandages. Just what on earth happened? 